Aircraft carriers are the most unusual and special ship type in World of Warship splits. They are probably also the most difficult type to master. The thing about aircraft carriers is that they don't have powerful guns and armor like battleships, and they also lack speed and torpedoes that destroyers can boast. What makes them so special then? The answer is planes. Lots of planes. Aircraft carriers are not supposed to engage in battle directly. At the beginning of a battle, they'd be better off avoiding enemy sonars and taking up positions far away from active warfare. From a safe range, they can play their stealthy game. The aircraft carrier's primary mission is to provide allies with air support, which can be done by scouting and attacking enemy ships. The priorities of aircraft carriers also include protecting allies from enemy aircraft. To switch to the aircraft control mode, click the corresponding button in the right corner of the screen. Select the required squadron type on the left and aim at the enemy or the point on the map where you want to send your aircraft. Once dispatched, your aircraft will take care of the rest. They will find the enemy and begin attacking them. There are three types of aircraft, fighters, torpedo bombers and dive bombers. Fighters only attack enemy aircraft. They won't cause any damage to ships. Once they spot enemy aircraft, fighters will start tracking them and engage in skirmishes until the last plane. The squadron cannot be recalled. Torpedo bombers, as is clear from their name, carry torpedoes. Unlike fighters, they require some micromanagement. As the planes approach their target, you'll need to adjust the point where torpedoes should be dropped while considering the enemy's movement. The number of the available torpedo bombers and the width of their torpedo spread will largely depend on the nation of the carrier you are controlling. Finally, dive bombers. They are relatively easy to use. All you need to do is select a target to drop bombs on. Dive bombers will reach the target and do what's needed without your further control. The bigger a targeted ship is, the easier it is for them to inflict damage. When it comes to aircraft carriers, there are several important things to keep in mind. Without good armor and firepower, there is nothing to do in the thick of battle. Yet staying in the corner of the map all the time is also not the best option. After all, the farther you are from the warfare, the longer it takes for your aircraft to reach their target. This is a particularly delicate issue for torpedo bombers because you may need to adjust their point of attack as the target changes speed and direction. It is crucial for an aircraft carrier to be close to its allies. Countering enemy ships without allied support is difficult. There are no heavy caliber guns, the armor is basic, and coping with an opponent in a duel having aviation only is problematic, even despite the considerable amount of hit points. Unlike other ship types, aircraft carriers' area of influence in battle is not limited to their fire or torpedo range. The whole map is their potential field of action. Like the gigantic sea monster Kraken with its tentacles, an aircraft carrier is able to reach far and wide with its aircraft watching the situation from above. At first, multitasking and micromanagement can seem tricky to get the hang of, but once you get used to the scope of available tools, you will start to see the battlefield in a completely different way. The sea's surface turns into a chessboard, where your task is to help the allied pieces win this game with coordinated actions you can become the conductor of the orchestra. Aircraft carriers of each nation in the game have unique features. For example, Japanese ships are faster on average and have a slightly larger deck than other ships. This allows for more torpedo bombers which deal higher damage to enemy ships. On the other hand, their fighters are not as effective as those of other nations, although they are good at scouting. US aircraft carriers, by contrast, can boast of having the most powerful fighters that are second to none in dogfights. But it comes at a price. They have longer cooldown times. US dive bombers also stand out against others by setting fires more often than their counterparts. German aircraft carriers typically have good hull armor and powerful secondary guns loaded with high explosive shells. Due to this, they can more successfully engage in close quarter battles with enemy ships. British aircraft carriers are notable for their decent fighters and even more effective dive bombers. The latter can carpet bomb. 
dropping several bombs at a time with an increased chance of setting an enemy ship on fire. They are the real pyromaniacs of World of Warships Blitz. Despite the often shared skill sets of aircraft carriers, this doesn't mean that there are no real, unique diamonds among them. German Tier 7 premium carrier Graf Zeppelin can successfully counter enemy destroyers in close quarter battles thanks to her powerful armament. With Graf Zeppelin, it is easier to advance to the center of the map and, in the right circumstances, even capture zones. Which, as you know, is not typical for aircraft carriers. US carriers Tier 7 Saipan and Tier 8 Enterprise are the true masters of the sky. Their fighters easily score victories in dogfights, neutralizing the enemy's airborne threat. The playstyle of British Tier 8 carrier Indomitable is very different from that of other aircraft carriers since she only has dive bombers at her disposal. Thanks to the carpet bombing skill, each plane in the squadron drops numerous bombs that cause fires. However, the damage from bombing is not high, so you may need to prioritize your targets and attack the ships that are already under Allied fire. Japanese carrier Kaga is remarkable for having 36 dive bombers at her disposal, which is 10 dive bombers more than other fellow Tier 7 ships have. On the other hand, Kaga doesn't have any fighters, although with a proper strategy, there's no need for them. Japanese warship Tone can often surprise when she launches squadrons into the heat of a battle. But it's a cruiser, I hear you cry. Spoiler, she has an air group of torpedo bombers in her arsenal offering a unique versatility. How do you like that? Japanese Ise is no less striking. She is a battleship according to her specifications but has some features of an aircraft carrier. Ise's armor and armament allow her to take up positions closer to the epicenter of a battle which reduces the time for her planes to reach their targets. You can also select equipment for aircraft carriers according to your preferences. There are no combinations that provide unambiguous advantage. It's important to understand what you personally need to suit your playstyle. More planes per flight or, maybe, shorter time of their preparation. In any case, equipment significantly increases the ship's battle efficiency. So don't neglect it. There is a variety of both equipment and supplies to refine and upgrade your carrier setup. Aircraft carriers are the brain of the team, and they offer absolutely distinct gameplay from other ships. Now you know how to use the features of this ship type to emerge victorious. Good luck in your battles, and dominate the skies, captains!